hope enjoying the lockdown, eh? It's a strange time, this lockdown thing. I got bored the other day, decided to dig out a wonderful episode of Question Time, hosted by the wonderful Jeremy Paxman. And on this occasion, guest happened to be Boris Johnson, of all people, and Sir Anthony Hopkins. I dug it up for you guys. Take a look. audience in front of you. That's why you've been invited here, Boris and Tony, and it's a wonderful evening. So, Boris, what's your current take on the situation at the moment? Well, it, 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 I have to say one thing. It, 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 it's, it's true what the government says about uh, the social distancing, and it is working. It's, it's working like... No, the, the masking, as I said before, the herd, herd masking I don't agree with. I never will, never have. Invited me along here just to join in with the audience. No, I love it. I love it a bit. It's an amazing evening. Um, thank you. Uh, I know very little about politics. Why are you invited? Why are you invited me here? As why I've been invited is beyond me. But I'm here, so uh, working very, very hard in this country to uh, make sure that the coronavirus does disappear, and uh, it will. It will disappear. You know, everybody's doing a wonderful job, an amazing job. They're just keeping up. Um, I love it. Um, they just keep doing what you're doing. Let me start by saying uh, I enjoy Silence of the Lambs. This was an amazing movie. Uh, you know, working with young Jody at the time was uh, an eye-opening uh, experience. Uh, never to be repeated again, obviously. I'd never repeat myself like an ex-girlfriend, really. Uh, obviously. You know, once it's done, dusted, it's over. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> yes, uh, I've got another movie coming out uh, uh, soon, and I'm working on some television, believe it or not. It's wonderful. It's a great experience. Let's get on to the subject. France. What about France? Oh, it's just there, isn't it? Um, it's a rotten thing to say, but one has to say it. It has to be said, and uh, I'm the one to say it. And that's it, really. Uh, first of that, I've um, had a wonderful time. Um, uh, it's, 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 I'm getting on. I'm getting older. Uh, I'm not a uh, young man like I uh, used to be, and uh, things have changed somewhat. But um, that doesn't mean that uh, things don't uh, proceed forward the way they should be going. And uh, I'm sure they uh, run well will, uh, and that's it. So, you know, um, you know, I worked with uh, uh, John Markovich about four years ago. Had a wonderful time. Uh, he's a great actor, wonderful actor. To, well, uh, you know, another method actor. And um, I'm looking forward to making a movie with Harvey Keitel, believe it or not, uh, very, very soon. Uh, he's coming over to uh, England from Europe. Oh, yes, he lives in Europe these days. He may have a dual nationality, but he lives in Europe these days, more so than uh, America. I've been told, uh, but uh, I look forward to uh, working with him as, as well. So that's a good thing, I think. So, there you are. It's Boris, uh, I must say, uh, I'm not used to meeting politicians, quite boring, to say the least. Uh, but uh, I'm here, you're here, so let's get into it. This um, mask immunity hurdle, we don't have enough masks to actually go round, so unfortunately we can't get into that. Um, but it is a wonderful thing you're all doing. Um, Yes, I'd love to follow the uh, Eastern way of uh, dealing with things and mask herd immunity, but <laughs> alas, we don't have the uh, essential masks. Uh, we don't have the number of masks to be able to accommodate the 66 million people of the country uh, to uh, deal with it in such a manner. But um, hey, nevertheless, uh, you're still paying council tax. Oh yes, you're still paying council tax. So you will get round to uh, acquiring them. But just no longer to actually get there. Or we can uh, increase the count. We could uh, increase the uh, council tax. What do you think? The one reason I refuse to come on these chat shows is because we always put forward a lot of codswallop and uh, I've just witnessed first hand uh, codswallop. I've just witnessed first hand uh, codswallop uh, from this Boris Johnson character next to me right here and now and uh, I think it's, it's Balderdash. Press them liars! Liars! All of them. What do you think? I think it's a wonderful idea, and uh, you should be contemplating it. You should be thinking about it. You know, we all want to get better, and let's let's get on with it, shall we? I mean, that that's that's the way forward to get on with it. Get on with it. All right. I don't know why. How dare you bring me all the way over from Hollywood to listen to this claptrap? That's all it is, claptrap. Now, you know, can we get back to the the, the good things? Now, I mean, made, made a move back in the seventies called magic. Uh, that a was dummy. Uh, now, if you get a chance to uh, have a look at it, uh, you'll see the script wasn't all that uh, hot, but uh, the movie itself, I did an amazing job, amazing job, and uh, you'll enjoy it. So, uh, get on it, get on it, all right? <laughs>